Matthew Marsh, British super bantamweight champion. Thank you for talking to FrankRowan.tv. First defence of your title is the 21st of November, Bethnal Green. And the man you have is Rocky D. Now, I know you've beaten him twice before, so what's it been like? Is it easy motivating yourself because it's the first defence of this title? Or has it been hard because you know you've beaten this guy twice before? It's, um, yeah, I've beaten him twice. I've always trained hard, you know what I mean? Every, every time I fight, I think I'm going to fight for a world, I'm boxing for a world title. So my training's been perfect, really, you know what I mean? So I'm in good form. I know he's training hard for it because he, he wants this title. So it should be a good fight. The both fights we've had have been good. So I guess this one's going to be good as well, right? So. I was just saying, I was just going to say that because both bike fights you've had before have been real affairs, haven't they? You've come out, especially the first six rounds, both of you hammer and tongs. Do we expect anything differently this time? Um, I think a bit of boxing I'm going to do, and then when I have to step it up and fight, I'm going to fight. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I'm going to show a bit of my boxing skills this time as well. Um, I know he's just going to keep coming forward, so I've just got to do what I've got to do, right? Do you know what I mean? Which I've been doing with uh, Jenny Ames. Do you see the fight in two sort of parts? The first maybe five or six rounds, just uh, sort of weathering the storm almost, and then after that maybe stepping it up. I think. Well, I'm a slow starter, so I think he's going to come forward, and then, and then I don't know. It's just going to be toe to toe. I think. To be honest with you. Before we get on to how trading's been going for uh, Rocky Dean, a little word on winning that title in the first place from Ethan Pickering. Put it into words for us and what it felt like that night when you lifted the belt. That, it was unbelievable. Like I think it's a boxer's dream to uh, to have that uh, to win that uh, belt. And to win it outright is even better. Like every, everyone wants to win that belt. It's a nice belt, but it was just I, 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 it was just unbelievable winning that belt. Like I just um, I thought I won it. I thought like I thought I won it, it pretty easy, really. But just just uh, holding that belt around my waist is so nice. Well, let's get on specifically to the training for uh, Rocky Dean. You know the man. You know him well. You fought him twice before. So this time round, how has training been going? It's been going alright. I'm, I'm, I'm on um, I'm on top form at the moment, so I, all I just got to do is just sharpen up and then uh, be ready for the fight. But it's, it's going it's going alright. My weight's coming down nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking good. I'm looking good in the gym. Anything in, in specific that you're working on? You know, you, it's coming up to your twelfth uh, fight now, and uh, obviously you've been around for a while, not a long while, but enough to sort of know your style. So, is there anything specific that you still really want to work on for this fight? Well, like, like I said, just like I want to, um, I want to do a bit, of, like show my bit of boxing. Uh, everyone knows I can throw loads of punches. I can have a fight, and all I know, like everyone knows, Rocky can have a fight. So. I'm going to show a bit of my boxing, so I'm going to mix it up, so you see, like, hopefully people like I always spoke to uh, Nicky Cook a few weeks ago when he, uh, you know, won the WBO uh, Super Featherweight title and he said coming now into his next fight, which is the 6th of December at Excel, he's going to be so much more confident at that weight and there's so much more that he can do. For you, is it going to be the same thing, your first defence of, of your title at Super Bantam? Do you feel like now coming into the next fight, you can be so much more confident at this weight? Oh, my, my confidence has gone right up. So winning, winning that title has gone right up. So, yeah, right, coming into this fight, I know it's going to be a tough fight, but I, I, I know deep down I'm going to win it again, do you know what I mean, three times on, on the trot. So. <laughs> a little word on Johnny Ames, your trainer. How special is he to you? Oh, me and Johnny have been very close. I, I've been with him through um, West Ham, ABC. And um, I turned over with him, yeah, we're really close. Like, he, he looks after me, I do what he says, you know what I mean? So we're very close, very close. But all the boys are very close with, this, with, with him. Like, everyone in this gym is like a family, do you know what I mean? So we're all close. He's a unique character, Johnny Ames. Try and describe what he's like, because he's not, like, you know, a softly spoken man, is he? No, he's, he's um, yeah, he's, he's rough and ready, do you know what I mean? He's... Um, when, when, he, when he shouts at you, you know, you know he's, he's in a bad mood or, you know what I mean, you've got to do what he says, right, do you know what I mean? So if he says ten more, you can't say, oh, I, I want to do five, do you know what I mean? You've got to do ten, right, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's good, though, it's good. Yeah, 
Just a word for the fans thinking, ah, you know, they fought twice before, it's not going to be worth coming out to watch this. Just a, a word for them on why this fight, you know, could, is really going to be a special occasion. Well, I know Rocky. Rocky's training hard, harder than ever for this fight. I think it's his first time for the British title fight. I'm, I'm, my confidence's gone up. I'm, I'm, I'm training hard for it. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good fight. It's, it's going to be like, um, like the last two fights, but I think it's going to be more explosive.